Hey everyone, meteorologist Joe Martucci here. Typically we're talking about snow this time of the year, but we are talking about the tropics. How about that for the middle of January? The National Hurricane Center did give us a low, near zero risk of that X area and that yellow area producing a tropical storm or a hurricane, but still the fact that we're talking about it this time of the year is pretty unique in and of itself. Now to actually get a named storm, it needs to become a warm core storm, and it's pretty close. But the one thing is we have fronts sticking out of the storm, and that is a sign of a cold core storm. So nothing yet, and more than likely nothing in the future with this, but you take a zoom down towards it, I mean, you see an eye right there. I mean, it is darn close to actually becoming something tropical here. Turning closer to home, no snow to speak of, no any kind of precipitation to speak of because it's been so darn dry today. A chapstick alert for your Monday with humidity values in the 20s and 30s in many spots here. We go into tonight, clouds will build in. That's going to be ahead of a weakening storm system that comes in. Rain showers develop around noon in our area. And we'll see spotty showers as we go into the afternoon and into the evening hours. By about 6 o'clock, it's pretty much dry for all of us, but there will still be a lingering shower until about midnight or so here across the area. And then the sunshine comes back out as we go into our Wednesday. Rainfall totals are going to range from a few hundredths of an inch to upwards of a quarter of an inch, depending on where you are. For tonight, we'll talk about low temperatures that bottom out just around 30 degrees inland, 32 over at the coast. Going into your Tuesday, here's a look at our bus stop forecast. Fairly cloudy here, though it will be dry. Temperatures rising pretty quickly through the 30s here, and that's the same story over at the shore as well. Tuesday, we'll see afternoon showers. High temperatures will be in the mid to upper 40s here. And then Tuesday night, we'll talk about showers through about midnight. I think it's mostly dry after dark, though. And we'll have low temperatures in the mid to upper 30s in Malika and the inland towns. Brigantine and the shore going to be in the low 40s here. And then we go into Thursday. And for our third Thursday in a row, we could be talking about thunderstorms here in South Jersey. So we're talking about the tropics. We're talking about thunderstorms for our third Thursday in a row. And yes, yes, it is January here. This is how it probably shakes out. We get a few hours of rain, perhaps a thunderstorm throughout the daytime hours here. Then a cold front will pass. And that's where you saw those yellows there right about midnight or so. And that will be the finishing shot of rain. Winds turn to the west with this. And then we're dry for our Friday. Here's a look at our inland seven-day forecast. So we get into the 50s for Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. It is the third warmest start to the year at Atlantic City or National Airport. We go into the weekend getting a little bit cooler, but still no big shots of cold air. We're still going to search for that as we go into the last week of January here. I think we get it. You're going to have to be patient if you do like the cold weather here. Over at the shore, look at these low temps. You can save uh, money on your heating bill here. Lows well into the 30s, if not the 40s here, and high temperatures in the 40s and 50s throughout the shore seven.